Okay, so what are we doing? Well, working in the bathroom. Um, we got the floor done, put up the brick wall, German smeared brick wall. It looks really good. Um, so I'm looking on Pinterest trying to decide what kind of stuff that I want to go in my bathroom. And I see um, a hotel quality towel rack. Um, and it's $80. Who in the right mind is gonna pay $80 for a towel rack? I'm not going to. So I thought I would make my own towel rack and record it and let y'all see how to make them too. Um, first of all, I wanna apologize because I'm not a video person. Uh, I don't know if this sounds good. I don't know if the picture's good. I have no idea. I don't know if this is gonna work crazy um, but I'm gonna try so the first couple things that we need of course we need wood I have wood <laughs> Sam's watching me do my video uh, more wood and we need a saw and I have a saw We need we need a tape measure. I have a tape measure. Um, a square. A drill. Some drill bits. And a level because uh, I never make anything level. Something to write with. Sam's driving me crazy in there. He's making me laugh. So, let's do this. The first thing that we want to do, I want my shelves to be four inches deep. So I have, this is a two by nine. Um, so I'm just going to cut these into four inch strips. And I'm gonna mark it. In several different spots along here. At four inches. And then I'm going to take my square. And I'm going to line it up against the flat edge of this board. Push it all the way to the edge of my board and tighten it down and draw a line. Do not use a mechanical pencil to do this. And draw a line where my four inch section is. And for some reason that still came out a little crooked. Maybe my board is not leveled. But that's okay because I have on my saw a guide. It's a miracle. I've never seen a saw with a guide before, but my saw has a guide. It's crazy. So after I do this, four, I'm gonna have three shelves on my towel rack. So I'm gonna do this three times and cut it. Okay, this is my circular saw, and it has a guide on it. Um, you can set your guide by taking the screw off, and then you want to find four inches, and there is a line on here at your zero point where your saw blade is. So you want to pull it out to four inches and lock it down at your zero point just to make sure that all of my boards are going to be four inches. And then you are going to line it up at the edge of the wood. Make it straight there and cut your board.
maybe cut your fork because I'm doing this backwards. So I'm having to push my hand over to the other side and cut it this way. This is an awkward position. three more of these. I have now three shelves for my towel rack. And I'm gonna set those to the side. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is make the base of my towel rack. Um, the one I saw on Pinterest had a 1x4 base. I don't have any 1x4, so I'm going to use a 1x3. Um, it'll work out pretty good because my shelves are 9 inches. So that's going to leave me 3 inches on either side when this is done. So, again, I'm going to use my saw. This, the measurements on the one on Pinterest it were 22 inches, so I'm going to leave that the same. Um, that way I can put an inch on the bottom and an inch on the top, and then four inches in between each of my shelves. The shelves are two inches each, so that's going to equal 22 inches total. So I'm going to cut this with my saw, and then we can get to putting it together. The same way I did with my... Um, two by nines, not two by tens. I'm going to measure 22 inches down my board. Use my pencil. Draw me a line here. Come across a little bit. Draw another line here. My lines are crooked. That's probably why my lines are always crooked because I I do everything crooked. I don't understand it. I can't do anything straight. Everything I do is at an angle. I don't know. But again, I'm going to use my square. I'm going to pull it back some so that it's a little bit more even. I'm going to line it up on my boards, tighten it down. Make sure that I'm level against my wood. And then draw a line across here. And then I'm going to get my saw out. And I'm going to cut this piece of wood. Because it's so long, I'm going to take my guide off because my guide don't go that far. And I'm going to just hopefully stay across this line I made and it won't be crooked. So where I had my guide before, I'm going to cut on my zero point. I'm kind of watching my blade on this one because the wood is not big enough for me to be able to
Got a little splinter on the edge here, but I can make that go away. Jigsaw, but I'm going to get that little piece off this board with it. So now that is gone and my edge is flush. Whether it's, you know, straight or not, I don't know, but we're going to use the level. It's pretty straight. Kind of Another thing I forgot to tell y'all that you needed was a sander. This was my Mother's Day present from Matt and Elizabeth. So I'm going to use this to sand down these boards. Um, they've been sanded several times already because they were part of my kitchen island at one point in time. But I'd want the edges where I sawed to be smooth and then I want to re-sand the tops and the bottoms. So I'm going to sand them before I put them all together. So you need a sander. So I'm starting out with a 60 grit sandpaper and then I'm going to move down to a 120. But I'm just going to give these a quick stain to make sure they're smooth before I put them together. If I can remember how to turn my sander on. sandpaper to my 120 grit. They just Velcro on and off. It's really cool. So the next thing that I'm going to do is decide where I want to put my shelves. So the picture that I saw on Pinterest had about an inch up here on the top and another inch on the bottom and it looked to me like there was about four inches between shelves. Um, it could have been less, it could have been more. I'm not a good judge of size so I don't know. We're going to go with that though. We're going to put an inch on the top, an inch on the bottom four inches in between each shelf. Again, tape measure.
draw a line at my inch mark because this is where I want the top of my first shelf to be. And now since my wood is two inches, well, an inch and a half. My wood is an inch and a half. So I want four, four inches in between my shelves. So I'm gonna line this up at the top. Draw a line where my bottom is. And then from that mark, I'm going to put four, go four inches and draw myself another line. And you can probably, a square would probably be easier to do this with, but I'm stubborn. So we are going to do it with tape measure and it's probably gonna be crooked. Just follow the same process. Put your board where your lines are. Make another line. Four inches off of that line. I'm probably going to have extra on the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. I might have to adjust it a little bit. I might have to cut it shorter. I don't know. We'll see. Line it up. Make a line. That's one board, two boards, three boards, one more board. Four inches. a line and what I might do is make this longer side my top side okay so now that I know where all my boards are going to be you want to drill some pilot holes so that you can put your screws in Oh, it's gonna look nice. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So, pilot holes. What you wanna do for your pilot holes is set your boards out where they're supposed to go. Okay, so before I drill my pilot holes, I want to find the center of my shelf. My shelves are nine and a half inches. I want to make a mark at my center point, which is going to be four and three quarters. So I've got my level already set on four and three quarters. Um, four, and then these longer lines is each a quarter inch. So, I don't know if you can see that really well. There's a quarter inch there, half inch, three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna measure from the edge of my board and just make a line at the end. I wanna make sure it's level. at my center point. So there I've got a line at my center point. And I'm going to do that on all four of them. And then this board here is measuring two and a half inches instead of the three. Everything's always off. Um, so two and a half inches, my center point is going to be one and three quarters. 
of an inch. So again, I'm going to take my level, I mean my square, and I'm going to go down to one and three quarters. Make sure I'm right here. Say two and a half. One and a quarter. Oh my goodness. It's completely wrong. See, I'm not good at mathing. So let's put our square at one and a quarter. Tighten it down. And then we find our center point of this board. And I'm going to mark center on the line that I made for the top of my shells. This way I can have a visual of it. So basically what you want is your center line on all your boards to add up to be in the same spot. And with a two I'm having to think my way through this right here because it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Anyways, I've got two and a half here, nine and a half here, so nine and a half, two and a half, that's going to get me to seven, three and a half inches on each side maybe. Three and a half inches there, three and a half inches there. Yep, so three and a half on each side is what we're going to end up with. I'm going to make sure that's right. Three and a half. Three and a half. I measure it several times with several different things. Three and a half. Three and a half. It's always best to measure a bunch. And um obviously all this stuff is moving on me. It would move on me. That's just how life works. So that is going to be my center line, and then I want a third of the way down into each board I want to put my screws. So I'm going to take my drill, <coughs> and I've got these drill bits, and I'm going to pick this one. I don't even know what size it is, but I'm picking this one. Okay, so using a drill. This is just a regular battery operated drill, screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. They usually come with a fancy key that you can use to um, put in your drill bits and all that good stuff. Mine didn't have one. It's not really a good drill. I just bought it from Walmart. It was like 20 bucks. So what you're going to do when you put in your drill bit is hold this ring right here that moves. Stick your drill bit in and very lightly tap the end button until it catches your drill. And then you're going to hold it like this and tighten it down. Woo! 
stuff's falling on me. Okay, so now that I've got my wood lined up, let me adjust y'all one last time. It's going. Sam says thumbs up. <laughs> Doing great, Mom. Doing great. And I'm going to make some pilot holes. One pilot hole. Second pilot hole. And then, so this does not move on me, I'm going to put my screws in. So, to unscrew it, basically the same way as you screwed it, you just want to go in reverse. Take your drill bit out. Put in your screwdriver bit, tighten it down, get you some screws, these are just regular wood screws, put your screw in your pilot holes. Very slowly, screw it down in there. Ta da! Now, what I didn't do when I was doing this was make sure my shelf was level. So let's, let's keep our fingers crossed that my shelf is level. Oh, having them moving y'all. Let me see. And yes, my shelf is perfectly level. Ah. So now I've got my first shelf on there and I made it level without a level. I'm excited. And I want to make sure my second shelf is in the same spot. I'm going to move it down this way. And now we are going to just make sure that everything is level. And we are going to go ahead and do our next three shelves the same way we did the first one, except for we are actually going to use the level this time.
finished. Okay, so now I have made this cute towel rack that cost me zero dollars instead of seventy-eight dollars. Um, if you don't have wood on hand, you could probably make this for under twenty dollars if you have tools. If not, you're going to spend a bundle on tools. But it looks really cute. Um, you can stain it, paint it, however you want to do it. I'm indecisive, so it's plain for right now until I decide what I want to do because I don't know what colors I want in my bathroom. Okay, so here is the finished towel rack. Um, I did decide to go ahead and stain it with a light cherry stain just because it brings out the grain in the wood and I think that looks really pretty. Uh, I put it up with just a screw on the top and then there is another screw in the bottom. It's not very aesthetically pleasing, but it serves the purpose. I'm probably going to put something decorative on this top shelf to kind of hide that screw. Uh, but not that I really ever see that screw because as you can see the shelf is a little bit taller than I am I can't see what's on the top of it, but there might be somebody taller in the bathroom one day. You never know um, So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope if I do another video you'll watch that too Bye.